What's up everybody, it's your boy Meme here. My room looks a little different. Uh, let me turn on my light. Actually, no, I'm not gonna turn on my light. I'm gonna do, whoa, I'm gonna do the monitor lighting. There we go. Uh, for, sorry, my lips are a little chapped. For breakfast, I had a cheese bagel for lunch. I had garbanzo beans, uh, and from, like, oven garbanzo beans, they're pretty tasty. Oh, I have no water. It's, it's so over, you guys. Um, and for dinner, we had pizza. My mom made pizza. It was very good. Uh, I woke up at 6 today. Um, I'm gonna have to wake up at 7 tomorrow, which sucks. Um, because I like to wake up at 6. I think the meta is just to go to bed at 9 and wake up at 6 every day. I, you know, no reason not to, and, um, it sucks because I'm going to be, um, sorry, keep, I'll tell you why I'm looking over there in a second, uh, and it sucks because I just had to do a bunch of stuff today and whatever, you know, uh, but you know, what can you do? Uh, yes, I woke up at six, um, and then I, well, my alarm went off at six, I got up at 6.30, really. Uh, then I got on the treadmill, I exercised for five miles. Yeah, I walked for five miles for an hour and 30 minutes, um, burned 876 calories, and my average heart rate was 131. I am definitely gaining weight because of all that pizza I ate, but that's okay. Um, yeah, so the lighting in my room is a little different. I have my salt lamp back there now. No more skull, guys. Uh, the skull is in our living room. I put it in there temporarily. We're gonna find a better place for it, but it's no longer in my room. And the reason why is because, well, we've had this lava lamp in our living room for a really long time, and about a year and a half ago, uh, it was moved downstairs, and I had no idea. I just kind of forgot it was ever there. Uh, and I went downstairs yesterday, and I was like, oh my god, this is such a good lava lamp. For those of you who don't know, my dad has bought several lava lamps over the years, and this lava lamp we bought 10 years ago still works perfectly fine, really good lava lamp. All the other lava lamps we've gotten have broken within the first year or two. Uh, but I was thinking like, man, this is such a good lava lamp, it would be such a waste to just have it sit there, you know? Um, so I decided to bring it up to my room. I kind of cleaned my room up a little bit. Of course, it doesn't really look like it, but my drawers are a lot cleaner and um, my desk is a little bit cleaner and it's it's nice um, and not a lava lamp there and I have more lighting in my room and that's always great um, you know of course I hooked it up to a smart light so if I want I could turn off my salt lamp and I could turn off my lava lamp if I want I could open up it like this and I could go like If I really want to be annoying with it, but you know, why would I do that? Um, but yeah, everything's really good, and um, I'm just hanging out. I'm happy about my lava lamp. I'm happy about the salt lamp. Uh, oh, my mom got a braided solo loop today. Um, she's had a focus. Um, she's had the leather. I think the. Um, One of them, one of the leather ones. They discontinued all the leather ones. Oh, I can't find it for the life of me, but she had one of the Apple Watch bands that had a little thing on the other end, like a little metal little lock thing or something. Um, and the knuckle on it was giving her a weird skin reaction. She has really sensitive skin. Um, so, uh, she got a braided solo loop band, and I, you know, I've heard good things about them. I would get them if they weren't so expensive. Um, uh, yeah, it's cool. Um, I recommended them to get a size down. My parents were very apprehensive because the sizing tool said size six, and why wouldn't you get a size six? But I was like, no, you should really get a five, size five. Everybody says to go a size down. So they did, and my mom enjoys it, so that's good. Um, but yeah, you know, I worked on a couple things today. Uh, the work was a little long today, uh, but that's fine. Um, you know, it doesn't look like I'm gonna have a unit that that's that, that's that long for a while, so that's good. Um, but yeah, you know, I'm just hanging out. Um, 
Oh, I completely set up, I completely removed one of my SSDs from my computer, uh, which I'm happy about. It was one of the external ones. It was a simple, like, 120 gig SSD. Um, and I removed it from my computer. Um, the thing I did is I put it in an anti-static bag. I printed out a copy of the smart data on Spacebin, and I uploaded a copy of the smart data on Rentry. Um, I made two, I made a page of two tiny little QR codes, and I just printed them out, uh, and I stuck them to the SSD. So when I want, I could find out what SSD it was at what time, and uh, what its smart data was on a little QR code printed onto the SSD. And I think that's really cool. And it's in a anti-static bag because I have a whole bunch. It's really cool. Um, it's cool to see things that you've done in the past pay off a little bit. Uh, just recently, my dad was setting up a new dishwasher that we got because our old dishwasher got really ruined because of our bad pipes. Um, and because of the electrical tape I bought, because I just felt like I should, like we should have electrical tape. It's crazy that we don't have electrical tape. Um, my dad was able to get electrical tape and he was able to use electrical tape for the um, dishwasher. And that's really cool. And it's cool to, and same with the anti-static bags. I only had to use one of them, but now I've used like six. And it's just great to see, you know, it's great to see stuff like that go to use and I'm happy about it. Uh, but yeah, all right, see you dude.